We checked an action flick. Don't ask me the title. We was mostly tongue and filling each other up and giving each other shotguns with Sarge's bag of weed. When we got tired of buttered popcorn and the real munchies kicked in, Boom said, What's it going to be, McDonald's or Uno's? Uno's is better, I said quickly. Uno's is pussy, Boom said. So what's up? You going to give me some pussy or are we going to McDonald's? We all started laughing. A few mixed drinks, some pizza at Uno's, potato skins, and salad. We all was feeling good. I wasn't worried about shit. Boom's basement was damp and dark. The little lamp he had in the small matchbox house located in Queens didn't even light up the entire room. But I could see the mattress he had on the floor with no sheets. The room Lauren and Sarge went into was only a room because it was divided by a blanket hanging on the string. Before I put my pocketbook down next to me on the side of the mattress, I could hear Lauren and Sarge ripping off their clothes. The sound of Sarge's belt buckle clicking, the zipper noise, and their heavy breathing got me good and ready. Boom flicked off the dim light, and it was pitch black. I like lights on, but there was no time for complaining. When Boom found my titties, he started rubbing my nipples between his fingers. At first, my body got excited, but he rubbed them so long that they were burning. I turned up to my right side. I moved his hands off my titties, saying, suck them, suck them. He sucked them, but it was like he thought they was popsicles. He sucked them so hard. I pushed his head down further so he could eat my pussy. He licked all over my hairs before he could find the inside of me. I heard him trying to spit the pussy hairs caught in his teeth out. When he found the inside of me, he was licking all the wrong places. He wasn't sucking my clitoris, which would have sent me over the top. Come on, baby, just fuck me, I said. That's right. He said, all gassed up on himself like he was doing something. A few pumps, maybe eight, and he was laid out all over my body, tired and finished. Nigga, what? I said, oh, girl, you know what? He said, all cocky like he had just busted me down. Was it in? Don't even play yourself, girl. He said, all calm. Was that it? I crawled around the mattress looking for the little lamp. Finally, I fumbled. Then found it. I clicked that switch real fast and flipped the lamp over like a flashlight, shining it on his dick. That little fucking worm. That's it? And you got the nerve to call yourself boom? I yelled at him. Ah, baby, you missed it. Shit was this big. He held his fingers for a 10-inch stretch. It's just cold in here. So, you know, after I busted a nut, my shit just shriveled up. By this time, Lauren and Sarge's naked bodies had rolled onto the floor. They laughed so hard that Sarge kicked his foot and the curtain wall fell down. Ah, nigga. I knew there had to be something wrong with your ass. Good hair, dimples, all that, and you just a little dick nigga. Take us home, I screamed on him. Lauren couldn't stop apologizing, but she couldn't stop laughing either. I decided I would choose all of my dates from here on. How I expected her to understand my desires, I don't know.